Hey guys, today in SEO and the Craft Factor, we are going to test a handful of snack Lisbeth skill. So this skill have a stigma debuff that will increase the damage taken by the enemy for 15 seconds and it can stack up to 99 stack. And this is also an awakening skill. Let's take a look into the skill animations. So the animation looks like this. So this is not the fastest but not the slowest as animation as well. And the cooldown is around 14 seconds. So that leaves us only 1 second to keep stacking on the stigma debuff. So let's take a look into that stigma debuff and how that works. So for this test, I'm going to attack the enemy that is not weak to my skill weapon. And I already have 99 stack of the stigma debuff. So the damage that I'm doing with the skill is doing 154,000 damage. So with this skill, we can get 0.5 per stack and it can stack up to 99. So we can get 49.5% additional damage on our skills with the 99 stack of the skills. And we know that uh, enemy weakness will give us 50% additional damage. So in theory, this damage that increase will be similar to when we attack the enemy with a single weakness. So the, again, the skills now doing 150,000 damage and we will go and test it against the enemy that have the earth weakness, which is the elements of my skill that I'm using. So on this, uh, it's doing 151,000 damage. So that's very close to what we see with the 99 stack against the enemy that is not weak to any element. And one more time, yeah, that's still 151,800. So that's very close to what we've seen in there. Okay, so next I'm going to test it against the enemy that's weak to blunt, but not weak to the element. So in this case, it's uh, weak to blunt and wind. And then we are going to compare it with the double weakness enemy. So in theory, it should give about the same damage increase. Okay, so with uh, this enemy here, it's doing 247,000 with the same Lisbeth skills. So this is with the single weakness and 50% or 49.5% uh, damage from the stigma debuff. And we'll try it one more time just to verify. So it's 244,000 damage. Okay, so we will try to switch against the enemy that's weak to both element and the natural weakness now and with this it's doing 216,000 so this is a lot lower than compared to the one we have before well in theory it should be the same so that's around 30,000 damage lower than what we have before against the enemy that with single weakness and one more time is 213,000 so this is not a fluke so the reason behind this is because the natural and the elemental weakness for 50% that damage increase is added against the base damage. While this Lisbeth skills for the 49.5% damage is added on top of the elemental weakness. So to give some explanations here, say for example that our skill damage is doing 100,000 against non-weak enemy and if we added a 50% elemental damage, so that skill will do 150,000 damage. And then if we add a double weakness, it means that that skill will do 200,000 because it will get 50,000 from the elemental weakness and 50,000 from the weapon weakness. Now if we attack a single weakness enemy, uh, so our damage is doing 150,000 and then we add 99 stack of this stigma debuff on the enemy, what happened is that it will take the damage with the elemental weakness or with the 50% uh, damage increase which is 150% and that will get added by 50% again to get the total damage. So our damage will become 225,000 damage instead of the 200,000. So this is really good. To summarize, the handful of Snackly Spet skill is a really good skill to buff our party damage. The skill will give debuff to the enemy, which means that the benefit is not only for the party of 6, but can extend to everyone who is fighting the enemy. This will be very useful in GOG 
which can increase the damage for up to 30 people. The buff is very difficult to maintain however since we only have one second window to maintain it. Other than that it have a debuff that can increase the burn rate and damage. That will be useful to apply burn status on the enemy. This is also an awakening skill which can give us more awakening synergy when we use it on our set. So that's it for the video and I also want to extend my special thanks to Falcon Pants from the Immortal and thank you for helping me with making this video and making this happen. And I will see you all in the next essay on the Girl Factor content. Bye now!